everyone, my name is Elfa. Welcome to Flame Sense and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a beautiful day. So today we are building in Granite Falls. And it's been, I don't know, months I think since the last time I built on this world. And I just wanted to build something very cozy for a family. So I haven't been travel for, I don't know, a year maybe a little more than a year i mean we all know that this pandemic took over everything so yeah since we couldn't travel in real life even though i got vaccinated like two weeks ago yeah and i will get my second vaccine on monday i think yeah on monday and i still am not sure about travel you know like freely everywhere because i don't really feel safe so since we cannot travel in real life we can travel in the sims so here we are now in the destination world and we're building a family cabin so the idea behind this build is i just want to have a kind of sitting area on the front part of the build because when i was very young like early 2000 i think my mom always bring me to this kind of guest house and it's beautiful like i kid you not i live in the city and it's such a luxury for me to be able to see the greenery nearby like the um, lakes and the i don't know the river and the mountains because where i live i live in the um, capital city and we don't have the luxury of like forest and i don't know like lakes and those kind of stuff so being able to see this scenery was really a pleasure for me so there you go that's the background story of this build and we have these two like main buildings they both are main building because they both have the kind of living space but the one in the right the the longer one is the one that has kitchen and the kind of living space like living room and one bathroom and one bedroom with twin bed and the other one the shorter one or the one that has like a um, long front porch is the one that has two bedrooms so one the first one is the master bedroom and the other one is the kind of like a very small bedroom it only has one single bed so on this build you could bring one two three four five sims total on this build and it's perfect for a family trip so as you can see on the screen i changed the color palette on the outside way too many times and by now it's like white and dark very dark dark deep brown but at the end everything will look very warm dark brown i changed the wallpaper to the one that we have with eco lifestyle the wood paneling one i think that is my number one most favorite wallpaper ever period because i just love the texture that came with eco lifestyle every single thing that came with eco lifestyle has this kind of a beautiful and very interesting texture in a good way and i'm just I really am obsessed with Deco Lifestyle. It's one of my most favorite pack besides Get Together. So I couldn't stop using that wallpaper. I'm so sorry about that, but it's beautiful. And yeah, that's basically that. And anyway, at first I decided to use the debug column from either Outdoor Retreat or Base Game. I'm not sure, but they have this weird um, kind of corner piece that peeking through the indoor part so i didn't really like that and and at the end i changed that into the one that's just like a regular column from um outdoor retreat but since i want to have this kind of like a beaming is that the word i'm not an architect or an interior designer whatsoever so if i misuse the terms for that thing i'm so sorry but it has this kind of vertical beam so it has this kind of like peeking through beam i'm pretty sure it's such a wrong term but you will see in just a little bit what i really mean because it's 
amazing so um if you notice that like months or years ago we have the ability to like um control nine columns if that makes any sense so it makes this the column like go higher but not by dragging the arrow so since i want to have this kind of like a like peeking through columns to the roof that trick didn't work at all so i figured out something and i didn't know and i didn't know this like at all before but if you press the bracket key for sizing up or down some objects it does the same with the columns so i didn't realize that at all like this is so cool and i haven't heard anyone talking about that so i'm pretty sure someone has mentioned it but me personally haven't heard anything about this trick so if you want to do something that makes the column like a bit higher without pulling the arrow that's the trick so you're welcome but anyway this is the first building the main building actually and we have the kitchen and i use the kitchen cats what is that country kitchen cat on this build because it's beautiful i really love this kind of uh, cream beigey light neutral wood tone and i use quite a lot of not to lie any pack island living item on this build because they have this style that's just match perfectly with the whole vibe that i was looking to so yeah that's that and the living space is very small i admit that but it's fine this is a tiny not tiny actually this is a smaller cabin and you have this very long shell so the floor plan is a bit weird but it's okay it's okay and we have two bathrooms on this build and the the one that on this building only has a shower but the other one that's on another building has a tub and a shower so yeah but the tub located in the front of the windows yeah i i understand that it's not very realistic i mean i mean you'll be naked on that tub and it's not very pleasing in real life but it's the sims so it's fine and this is and after this we just have to move on to the other building and i kid you not i really had some fun with this build but it took me forever to finish i built this for i don't know like four hours ish or five maybe it was such a very slow progress but i had some fun with this build and the hardest part with this build is the play testing time because this is a not a residential um world this is a destination world and you have to make your sims go to holiday to be able to visit this lot and so does do the screenshots and it's too hassle for me so if you know any mods that can make this um destination worlds become a residential world please let me know either on the comments down below or just let me know on my instagram or twitter my handle on both platforms is lamy sims just like the name of this channel so please 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 let me know because back then i used the zerbu um destination to residential worlds mod if i'm not mistaken but it didn't work with the patch that we got right now the 1.71 and and i need another mod a new mod that works just wonderfully with the whole destination world to residential world because it makes my life way easier so i don't have to like bring a sim to holiday first before i play test everything but yeah that's just my random rambles and this is the other building the second building and we have this game table i think from get together and i love this building so much i mean they have this um very like cozy and warm section on the like center part of the building but you have this long big porch front porch so you could just like cozy yourself up on that porch and you have the um, fireplace too so everything is just 
I don't know, I just really love this build so so much I didn't expect that at all because when I built this I feel like mm, yeah that's okay it's fine but when I took the screenshots I immediately like fall in love with this build I mean it's very cozy and very I don't know suitable for this world so that's why I really love this build and um, anyway I forgot to tell you that on this build, we have the um, hot pot from Snowy Escape. That's because I live in Indonesia and and we have this instant noodle called Indomie that's very famous globally and we Indonesians are very proud of that. So Indomie is a meal, an instant meal I would say, that's very suitable for every occasion and usually when i go to holiday to this kind of um place my family would make me to bring some indomie especially the like the soup based one or the dry one you know and we will be eating those indomies like over and over especially on the evening and on the morning because it will be very cold there and indomie will warm your heart up and your soul so it's some of the best thing in the world it's very simple and cheap but it's some of the best thing in the world and i say it cold as in like i don't know 16 degrees celsius or 20 ish degrees celsius because normally here in my city when it's like normal day like just the sunshine normally it will be like 35 ish degrees in celsius not in fahrenheit so imagine the heat yes like i don't know 20 degrees celsius is quite cold for me but it's normal since we have this very hot and crazy humid day all year long so yeah but anyway, we almost finished with the landscaping. At the end, I changed that carpet, not carpet, rug thingy from um, Get Together to the Deepak Stone one from Base Game. And I love that so much. And at the end, it looks very lush and cozy. And I really like that. Especially this kind of um, snowy skip bench on the front. It makes everything look like 10 times better. I just really want this in real life i kid you not i will spend i don't know like not forever but something close to forever like maybe a week or two on this cabin and i'll do good so yeah since we are getting closer to the end of this build, build just per usual if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you could find it under my EAID, which is alphatiera or under the hashtag Flamy sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to the website gallery as well as the other link to grab the tray files from simple share so yeah i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video so yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up right now. Thank you so so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!